Good morning, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your Tororo today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Taurus, this is going to be your weekly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, cross watchers, you are welcome here, but just know these messages will be for Taurus, so keep that in mind if you end up do resonating with any of the messages that I do say. Just know that you can, you know, switch it if you have to, or if you feel like the roles are reversed, then switch it. Um, and Taurus, you can do the same thing if you feel like my messages are pertaining to the other party, then you can do that as well. And if you do find that you do like and enjoy this content, you can like and subscribe and also comment down below, so that way I know that you are liking the video. Um, and yeah. And resonating with it. All right, cool. All right, so let's divide the deck up and see what you guys got. All right, it's cool. So you have the four of wands in the upright. So you could be open to relationships during this time, uh, during this week, or you're just very open, or this could mean that um, you're finally opening yourself up to relationships, so you're no longer being single. There could be a romantic offer coming towards you this week, which could be kind of interesting, Taurus. Um, or this could be mean that you are in a uh, relationship and the relationship is getting stronger uh, or the connection to it. So we're going to get into your ruins and see what you got. Before we do the, uh, those, alright, it's cool. So, you got Warrior. You could be feeling a bit strong. Uh, people could be trying to confront you, and, but then they see you as a warrior, so that they get scared off or something along those lines. Um, <laughs> but we'll see in the messages, um... You could be just feeling really strong, very confident in your abilities uh, this week. And then you have fertility. So, you do have the four of wands here. So, that tells me that you're in a relationship or that you're about to get into one. And then you have fertility. So, there could be a new addition to the family if you want to put that into words. Um, you could be finding out that you're pregnant, uh, but you don't really realize it because you're juggling two jobs or you're juggling so much or it's just very chaotic in your households, uh, but you are working very hard to achieve success, which is awesome, uh, but you're just kind of unsatisfied with where you are at in the world right now. Um, you kind of want to move forward. You. You, but you have all these swords, you have like six swords here that are in your boat, and it's really hard for you to move forward when, you know, you have six swords in your boat, you know, they're just stabbing your boat, and, you know, it's just more weight, right, it's all that pain that you gotta heal and stuff like that, right, um, in due time, you will heal these wounds, or these could be thoughts, because, you do have, well, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse, so that means that you're relieving yourself from thoughts or negativity, so um, maybe you're moving away from all these negative thoughts, and you're starting to work on yourself, work on, you know, bettering yourself, so maybe you're kind of distancing yourself from social media or the news source, uh, because you have all these swords, but most of them are in reverse, seeing how you have the Page of Swords, in reverse and you have the nine of swords in reverse the pages of swords could say that uh, you're not re you're not wanting to talk about children right now you just kind of want to focus on yourself um, but that subject may be brought up during this time um, it, it would be very common there's a lot of people getting pregnant right now you know yeah you know, it's not out of the woodwork just because we're going through a very chaotic time so it's just a little bit harder and you'd rather work on your finances that way you have a more stable foundation rather than you know a broken foundation or just like a 
one that still needs a lot of work because you feel like or you may feel like that the foundation that you're building right now isn't complete isn't complete for you to have or to bring a child into this world so that's why you probably just don't feel like thinking about children right now and you just want to focus on yourself um, it's also true that you're balancing a lot and you're juggling a lot and all this chaotic energy isn't really helping that. So you got to do what's best for you during this time. And right now is not the most satisfying satisfying time for you to have a child. So, um, yeah. You have friendships. You could be finding out that one of your friends is pregnant um, or you're just going to be meeting a Gemini and there you guys are just going to be best friends but you're a little bit unsatisfied with how things have been so far maybe the communication hasn't been all there maybe they kind of act like a child like they they take action they don't really think first um they're a little blunt but they they just don't think before they act kind of vibe but they're still your best friend right and then you have the Eight of Cups, which tells me that you are... So, when I see it in the upright, I see it as you're moving on from these cups and you're moving, you know, you're seeing the bigger picture. When it's in reverse, I kind of look at it as, at it as you're still stuck on the past. You're still, you still have these Eight Cups and you're not wanting to let go of them because you know you have so many past memories with them and you're just not ready to let go um and it's kind of emotional and it has that sentimental sentimental value to it but you know that you know you got to let go even if it's unsatisfying for you uh, so you may be letting go of a friendship, maybe because, or distancing yourself from a friendship because you are working so hard. Maybe you're not trying to do it. You're just, you know, you're just doing it naturally. You're, you know, you don't mean to. You just got to do it, right? You got to do what you got to do, Taurus. You know, you're a very hard worker, Taurus, and sometimes you don't really have days to spend time with friends and it's it happens you know you can't have fun all the time but you know you can't also you can't you know work you know like a workaholic every day i mean you can but your life is going to be very draining and isn't going to be as fulfilling as you might hope because even when you get what you desire you're not going to be satisfied you're gonna keep wanting more and more and more and then you know and then eventually you can't get more and then you're just like wow i wish i spent time with the family or if i i spent time with my friends i probably could have you know you know did something with my life besides work you know you gotta really think about that. You gotta take some time off. You gotta take some breaks, um, and that's fine because there's no rush, you know. But you also gotta work hard it, to get where you want to be. So there, you know, there's that too. Um, but uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And with this quarantine going around, you don't really want to be around your friends anyways because everyone's doing that social distancing vibe. Even if people aren't listening, you know, that kind of hurts it because it, you know, you don't know who they've been around and they don't know who you've been around and stuff like that. And yeah, it could cause a lot of chaos and stress. And you're not really wanting to stress things out during this time. So for the signs that I see, I see Gemini and Taurus. I don't see any other sign. Besides maybe um, Aquarius. But other than that, 
you have air, earth, water, and you don't have any fire, but you have the warrior rune here, so that, I guess that counts as fire, so yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You got the pat, I am present. So if this is someone from your past that passed away and you they were like your best friend, um, they are present, they are here with you, just know that they're going to help you on your life journey. They're going to help you fulfill your life's purpose, but they may not be physically there, you know? If if your friend passed away, then they're going to help you. If they didn't pass away, they're still going to help you um, achieve your goals and achieve your, or they may just motivate you to work harder and to be better um, and to be more satisfied with how things are turning out. But just be patient, you know. Yeah, it may be rough right now and you may be throwing yourself into work because you don't want to deal with, you know, any deaths or anything like that or any passings, you know. You just... But I know it hurts and it's a bit emotional, but you gotta, you know, heal. You gotta heal before constantly moving forward because if you just put yourself in work... 24 7 you're not going to heal anything you're just going to put yourself through pain and that's not what you deserve you deserve to have a happy and healthy life Taurus so really take time to um to heal before you throw yourself back into work all right so Taurus that's going to be your reading for today I hope you guys resonated and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe uh, for the chakras that I see, you got the throat chakra and the crown chakra. So, yeah. And the crown chakra makes sense because you have all these swords here, which is all about thoughts. Um, and then you have the cups here, which is about emotions. And then the pentacles, which is about earth energy. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys resonated, like I said. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. If you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.